students as they daydream in class. Hey Trey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just writing a little poem. That's all. Can we hear it? Sure. Who do I look up to when there's no role model in, in my community? Why is it just sport figures and celebrities role models in our community today? Why can it not be teachers who make a difference in our community and in the school system? <laughs> role models, they are people who bring us up, who support our dreams, and change each other people's lives. But what I do know is that our community needs role models badly now. That was really good, Traylon. Thank you, sir. You guys, I kind of have a problem. Okay, so y'all know I'm a cheerleader and a blonde, but like everyone like makes fun of me for it. They like think I'm mean and stuck up and stupid. But the truth is, is that not all cheerleaders are mean and stuck up, and not all blondes are stupid. I just wish they would like understand and not judge me for it. I have a problem too. So you guys know I'm Native American. And where I come from, not much is expected from us. Dropout rates are really high. Degrees in diplomas are really scarce. Early pregnancies are normal. People expect the same from me. And I won't prove them wrong. Okay, you all, I know I never told you about this, but when I came, I came to America to further my education and to get a better, better one, but when I came to this so-called land of opportunity, people brought me down, who called me names that hurt me. Even though I try to focus on my education, it's really hard to do that when people are bringing me down every day. So what happens now? I have no role model. I have no one to lead me through this life. My, my role model abandoned me. Everybody doesn't care about me. Nobody cares about me. What happens now? What can I do? That's a good question. What can we do? With all these problems that are occurring in your class, I think it's time to call in the Gara Fairly Odd Counselors. Wanda, the Gara Fairy, and her intern, Cosmo. <laughs> 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 so, I see you guys have a lot of issues, and I came to give you some wonderful advice. So, just don't let stereotyping and bullying affect you. Don't let it bring you down. It's something that crutches you and what you want to accomplish in life. And don't let people's opinions define who you are as a person. And for role models, if you have a bad role model, take their place. Be their role model. Show them what they should do. Woo now my intern Cosmo has a few words of advice. <laughs> experience stereotyping or bullying or the victim of a bad or good woman. But who am I? I am the one who advised the troublemakers. The ones who wanted to bully, I would tell them to step back. The ones who stereotype, I would tell them to look in the mirror. And most importantly, the ones who are the good or the bad woman, I would tell them to rise and reach for the sky. Who am I? I am the ones who guide the victim. The ones who are the victims of stereotyping, I would tell them to look on the past and have hope for the future. Who am I? I'm the one who guide the ones who are victims of bullying. I will tell them to reach the sky and never give up. Who am I? I'm the one who will tell the ones who have been the victim of bad or good no mind, to never lose hope. Who am I? I am the guy in the very eye of counselors in turn. Cosmo. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a little girl, they told me I wouldn't ever be nothing. That I was too black and I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks and that was just too bad for me. 
My mama was never there, and the word daddy was, was a tale that you could only hear in storybooks. Storybooks that I didn't ever read because I couldn't. Because the people around me told me I shouldn't, it wasn't cool enough. And life was just too rough, so I got into all kinds of stuff. Sex, drugs, and now I'm pregnant three months, but still, that was just too bad for me. And I've cried. People have called me names and I've tried to hold back the tears, and yet they surge forth as a torrential flood does. But I know that tears eventually stop flowing like the bright red gushing blood from the wound that is my heart does. And when that happens, rainbows and butterflies will appear, and birds will sigh. And like them, I will spread my wings and, and I will fly. I must soar, open wide, close doors, for there's a hefty price on education, yes, but I promise you ignorance costs more. But see, I'm gonna need her help, and his help, and yours there for falling down and rising up is something we all as humans share.